The Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> King, the swiftest, strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the Yukon during the gold rush of 98. That was the year that brought over 50,000 men swarming into the Klondike region, and the greed for gold led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, the force preserved a splendid record in maintaining the right. The challenge of the North was answered, and justice ruled triumphant. <laughs> The cold bit into Sergeant Preston and the great dog King as they broke a trail through the icy stillness of the Yukon. The 50 below zero temperature was bone chilling in spite of heavy clothing. Even his parka did not protect the Mountie from the painful, jagging stabs of a merciless wind. Uh, thank heaven we'll soon be at Duke Wells cabin, King. Just over the ridge. <coughs> on King! On you huskies! Uh, we'll soon be warm and... Well, that's strange. Ho, oh, King! Ho, oh, you huskies! Ho! Oh. Oh, no smoke coming from that chimney. There must be someone there. Tracks are all around the cabin. Oh, Duke wouldn't be without a fire in this weather. Hmm. If it weren't for these tracks here, I'd think Duke had left Sutter's Creek. Oh, look in this way. There's something wrong in there. Come on, King. <coughs> yes, King. Must have been some fight. Chairs overturned, table broken. Duke! Oh, Duke! The fire's died out. <coughs> what is it, King? Yes, King. He's dead. And it looks like he fought hard. But who? And why? Hmm. His cash box. So it was robbery as well as murder. And not a thing to... Those tracks outside the cabin. tracks here leading to the cabin. But there are two sets of them. Oh, I see. These are the footprints of the murderer as he came to the cabin and when he left. And these over here, these are Duke's prints. So he was killed after it stopped snowing. King, get the dogs up. <coughs> so that's why there was no smoke coming from the chimney. We have a murderer to track. And only some footprints in the snow for a clue. On King! All you huskies! Sergeant Preston drove his team on and on as he followed the killer's tracks from Duke's cabin. Sharp and clear, they led through the snow. On King! On you huskies! Right into Deadwood City, huh? Well, we might be lucky, King. This kind of weather, there won't be too many other tracks. We'll be able to follow the... Ho, oh, King! Ho, oh, you huskies! Ho! Oh. Hmm. Let's see. There are other tracks. Plenty of them. It won't be as easy as I thought. All right, King. You lead from here on. On King! On you Husky! There were other tracks cut in the snow as the Mountie drove his team into Deadwood City. But King, running ahead, followed the trail till he stopped at last outside the Idle Hour Cafe. Oh, you Huskies! Ho! 
Well, this is it, huh, boy? <laughs> and the murderer came here after killing Duke. Impressed. Hello there, Will. How are you? Fine, fine. Say, you ain't been traveling far in this weather, have you? From Sutter's Creek. <laughs> Seems to me you'd be better off making your living pan in gold. At least you don't have to be out when the old thermometer drops down to below zero. Well, the law never rests, you know. Uh, you never rest anyways. It's a good thing, too. See that fella drinking down there at the end of the bar? Yes, he... Smith. Bart Smith. Yep. I recognized him as soon as he stepped in here. I got a circular in my pocket here. It's somewhere is here, darn it. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Picture and everything. I think I begin to understand. Smith and Duke Wells used to work together back in the States. Yeah, that's a fact. Of course, it ain't generally known that Duke ever crossed the law, but... We get all kinds in the Yukon. Wells has been pretty straight lately. Settled down a lot. I guess he didn't want to get mixed up with Smith again. <laughs> he's smart. He'll stay away from that varmint. You can tell to look at him. He's rotten all the way through. Yes, that would be the motive then. When he saw the cash box, he couldn't pass up a chance for loot. What you talking about? Cash box loot. What are you aiming at, Sergeant? How long has he been here, Will? Blew in about an hour ago with the roughest gang I ever saw. An hour ago, huh? Yep. Say, uh, what'll you have? It's on the house, you know. Oh, thanks. I'll have Oh, it. never mind. Don't tell me. I'll get you a glass of milk. How's business? Oh, it's coming right along. This kind of weather is mighty helpful. <laughs> Fellas like to come in and swap yarns over some drinks. But all they can do when the ground's froze solid. Yes. Looks as if all Deadwood City is in the idle hour. Don't hurt my feelings none, long as they pay in gold. Say, uh, Sergeant, what's eating you? Faces a mile long. I told you I'd just come in from Sutter's Creek. Yeah? Ain't nobody much up there. I stopped at Duke Wells' cabin. He's dead, Will. Dead? Murdered. King and I trailed the killer here. Well, I'll be. You think Smith had I don't know. Who was the last man in here before I came? That's a kind of a hard one to answer. I noticed so I could swear to anything. Seems to me old Harry Barber was the last one in. That was about 10 or 15 minutes ago. But like I say, I couldn't swear to it. Smith or one of his men could, could have proved anything. No, the only thing I can do is compare his footprints with the prints I found outside Duke's cabin. You can't do that now. Why? I'll take a look outside. Must have got a mite warmer. Snow. Yeah. Looks like a blizzard to me. Hmm. Uh, Sergeant, I ain't the one to meddle with the law, but... But what, Will? You won't be able to pin anything on him. That gang of his that swear to an alibi, and you know it. Where are they? In the back room, playing poker. Well, maybe Bart Smith didn't do it. Any one of his men could have done it for him. It looks like you got a real problem on your hands. Oh, uh, excuse me a minute, will you? Oh, sure, sure, Will. Hey, another drink here, Will. What do you have, Dan? Oh, the shame. Well, hi there, Sergeant Preston. Uh, hello, Dan. Hey, mighty cool, lad, ain't it? Kind if I don't wish I was down in the tropics somewhere. As long as you can find gold up here, you'll never leave it for the tropics or any other place. You know it. Yeah, I reckon you're right, Will. Gets in a man's blood. Well, better get back to the game. Winning or losing? Breaking even, worse luck. <laughs> See you later, sir. Yeah, nice fella, Dan. How long's he been in the cafe? Oh, now, you don't think Dan... Now, don't doing. jump to conclusions. I'm only checking a few points, that's all. You'll be asking me next what time I got here. Well, but uh, what are you going to do about this? Well, some of the boys are leaving now that the snow started. If you're going to do anything, you better... Waiting till a few more of the boys leave. Then I have a little plan. Sergeant Preston, with the faithful king at his side, waited till most of the crowd left the cafe. Soon there were but a handful of men gathered around the pot-bellied stove at the far end of the room, 
and a scattered few were still at the bar. What's that Marty doing here, bud? I don't know. Been in here now for an hour. He stands there drinking milk and looking around. I know who he is? Yeah. Molly's a Molly to me. Not this one. That's Sergeant Preston. Preston? Yeah. If Preston's after you, you might as well throw up your hand. It's the end of the trail. Not for me, it ain't. Want me to call out the rest of the boys? No. We'll call them if I need an alibi. There ain't no way he'd know you and Wells. Shut up, will you? Why don't you go out front and beller so the whole town can hear you? Oh, now, Bud, I didn't mean nothing. I guess I'm just uneasy. I didn't plan to let Duke have it. He wouldn't split the claim, huh? Split it? He didn't want to have anything to do with us. Said he was going straight. Boy, he sure changed. Hey, Sergeant Preston, you've been standing around looking at us for a long time. Yeah, what are you looking for, Monty? Let's get out of here. No. We'll stay here till the Monty leaves. Yes, you're right, Tom. I am looking for something. Why in tarnation didn't you say so in the first place? What you got on your mind? I left Sutter's Creek about an hour ago. When I was up there, I stopped in to see Duke Wells. Mm -hmm. I found Duke dead. D dead? Yes, murdered. He'd been fighting with a man who killed him. The fight must have started when the killer pulled a gun on him. Uh, got any idea who done it, Serge? When two men are fighting, it's almost impossible not to find a piece of clothing torn from a coat, a few hairs or a button. Little things like that are what most killers leave at the crime if there's been a struggle. Oh, so that's what you're looking for, huh? Pretty smart. Well, looks like we'd better line up here so you can look us over. Ain't nothing tore off my coat. Yes, that's a good idea. Can't say as I know anyone that have any reason to kill Duke. He's a peaceful enough critter. He sure was. Never bothered anyone. Bonnie, I guess this leaves me out. I'm a stranger here in Deadwood City, so I'll just leave while you go on with your investigation. Quiet, boy. You say you're a stranger? Yeah, yeah. Bart Smith's the name. Just came in from Circle City with Slim here. Well, it's just a formality. I want to see the coat on every man that can pay. That means me too, I guess. Yes, you too, Will. Yeah, don't have any buttons off my coat. Well, let's see. All right, Tom. Well, let's see, Dan. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't, Monty. Hey, put down that gun. I'll put it down when I'm ready. Now you get in line. Go on, over there. This one's straight. You're listening to me. Reach. All of you. Higher. You won't get away with this. <laughs> you let me worry that out. He must be the one that killed Yeah, I am. And I'll kill any one of you that steps through the door of this cafe. It means business, fellas. Uh, you yellow pool kid. Shut up, Dan. He's already killed two quells, ain't he? I'm leaving here now, see? Come on, Slim. And remember, I'll shoot anyone that steps out of this door. You'll never get through that door, Smith. Adam King, Adam Oh! I'll take care of him. Oh! Come on. All right, Bart, get up. Oh, my hands. That mutt. Yeah, nice work, King, old fella. Hey, you're pretty handy with your fish, Will. I used to be a prize fatter in my younger days. And boy, how I'd like a chance at that no good rat. Hey, Sergeant. Oh, no, no, just... he's under arrest, Will. He deserves a beating, but you'll have to settle for a hanging. Hey, wait a minute. He don't have any buttons off his coat. Oh, that's right. And I don't see any other clues either. No, Will, there aren't any. It was his conscience that convicted him. You see, boys, sometimes a policeman has to play hunches. Well, I'll be pretty smart, I'd say. Yes, King, old boy. With your help, another case is closed. <laughs> Challenge of the Yukon, a copyrighted feature of the Challenge of the Yukon Incorporated, brought to you every Saturday at this time, originated in the transcription studios of WXYZ Detroit. The characters and events in tonight's drama were fictitious. Bill Morgan speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network. <laughs>